Now that we've finished the pants, we'll move on to the coat. The coat is a little more difficult and the steps are a little more involved. That's why I like to do the pants first. We get a feel for how the fabric's going to behave. Your first step on the coat, according to the instructions, is to do a little stitching right around the edges of where that welt pocket is going to go. And then to trim from this raw edge over to there and then cutting triangular to those two dots. We're not going to do that. The reason we're not going to do that is if you cut all of your layers and then assemble it, it's very difficult to get it all lined up. What we're going to do is make most of the welt pocket and do our cutting after so that all of the cuts line up with each other. I'll explain it as we go through it. As you can see, I've got this same piece of fabric laid out here that corresponds to your first step. Here's your first step with that piece of fabric. And as you can see, this is that same piece of fabric. I've drawn a line using Taylor's chalk on that same line that is referred to in the instructions. And here you see the triangular ends. Well, instead of stitching around that triangular end, what we're going to do is use a piece of fusible interfacing, and it's cut a little bit longer than from here out to that edge. It's going to attach to this fabric just like this. And of course, we'll press it on there. But as you can see, there's the end of where that pocket's going to go, and you can see that this actually goes a little bit farther. So we're going to attach that. After that's attached, we're going to cut along this line, but not all the way to the end of the pocket. We're going to stop about an inch short of where that welt pocket ends. So we're actually going to snip from here to about here. And I'll go through it step by step, and you'll see how it makes sense as we go.